welcome back to my youtube channel on today's life we're making a peplum so the first thing you do peplum has two parts the upper part and the flay part which is the peplum so you have to get the part which is your peplum so to get your peplum the blouse length i'm working with is 26 so you have to minus your half length from the lower part you're working with so 26 minus half length is 8, yeah, minus the half length is, I have 8 inches for my peplum. To get your half length is your under bust plus 2. So I have 18 inches at the length of my peplum. So I'll be adding 2 inches allowance for folding. And also, then to get the waistline you're going to divide, you have gotten the length. So we are going to get the waistline to divide the waistline you're going to make use is your your half length so the half length is 37 and that was is 37 but i'm going to add three more inches because i want to have additional feet that i'll be using to fold at some part so and i'm also going to after that, that that's i have 40 divided by two i have 20 i'm going to have the one inch because we're going to be adding a zipper so i'm just going to everything is 21 i'm just going to place and get to where 21 is and mark then i'm going to place I'll get the rule and join the line. So this is what I have. So the next thing, the peplum length is eight plus my two inch. I'm using one and a half. So it's nine point five. So if I check sure, I have nine point five. If you don't get your letter, you can just draw it. No need marking because what I'm working with is 9.5, which I have here. You have 9.5. So what I'm going to do now is to cut through this part for my peplum. So this is what I have for the peplum part of the dress. So I'm going to keep this aside and cut for the main body. So I'm going to cut the part that I'm going to use to cut the upper part of the peplum dress or peplum top. So the length of the dress I'm working with is 18. I'm going to mark out the 18 inches I'm working with and I'm going to draw a straight line and connect it. This is 18. So the next thing I'm going to do, we are drafting a princess that for the upper part. So I'm going to mark my shoulder. The shoulder I'm working with is 16, this is 16 divided by 2. We have 8. Then to get your chest line, you do the post divided by 6 plus 1.5 inch allowance I have 8.83 which is approximately 9 so I'm going to mark 9 so we, since we are doing, doing an armhole princess that I'm going to come up by 1 inch 
come out by one inch the reason why i'm doing this is that most times after drafting a princess that you notice that this part doesn't meet up with the center part so if you cut it like this it's going to meet up so i'm going to mark that one and extend it this will be serving as our imaginary angle after doing that i'm not going to draw my angle curve i'm just going to leave it for the for the meantime and then i'm going to mark the bust pan the bust pan here is approximately 9 that's 8.83 which is approximately 9 9 divided by 2 i have 4.5 then i'll be adding half So I'm going to mark it all through the dress. So let me apply my line very well so that you can see it. So after doing that, the next thing I'll do is to insert my vertical measurement. The vertical measurement, sorry, I'm working with which is 11 and 16 so after doing that i'm going to come down by one inch at my bust line serve as my dark line so after i'll go back to the neckline i want to be using so i'm using three inches by four so i'm just going to connect and draw a neck so let me mark it very well so that you can after doing the neck, the next thing I will do is I will go over to my shoulder to my shoulder area. Remember I said we have an imaginary armhole which is this. Then I am going to go down by 3 inches. After going down by 3 inches this line I have here, remember I said here is the bust that. So I'm going to connect this line to meet here. So let me meet another piece. So this line now, I'm going to connect it. That's my imaginary angle. And the reason why you inserted this bust that is to avoid having a very blunt edge at the bust. I will do right now is to draw my armhole curve. I'll get the middle, which is 4.5. Instead of drawing my armhole here, I'm going to draw it here. Coming by half, then connect it. That my first um
So with this, we are we are done plotting the princess that you can notice this is the line. Then while cutting at the top here, we are going to ignore this part of the armhole and we are going to cut from this part and cut out the neckline. So let's cut. So this is it, this is the princess part. So the next thing I'll do is to come and insert my measurement. So at the bust, we have bust divided by 4, that's 11. So I'm going to use half half for joining, that's 1 inch. Then I'm going to be adding two and a half inches allowance. That's totally I have three and a half allowance plus eleven. That will be fourteen point five. That's what I have here. Then at my under bust. So at my under bust, the under bust measurement circumference divided by four. I have nine point three. Then whatever I have here, I'll extend it down and then I'm going to measure three and a half inches allowance. Then I'm just going to connect it to the first line. Then I'm going to clean it. Cutting the princess that. So for the back piece, what I'm just going to do is I'll place whatever I have at the front and cut. So for the back, the only difference is that I'm going to add one inch in front and then for the back side, I'm just going to cut exactly. So I'm done. This is the front we cut earlier. So like I said, I told you the back, this part of the back is exactly like this. So I just placed and cut and then added one inch deeper allowance and then removed the pop from the back so i'm going to open up my pieces and then i'm just going to join it together with half i'm going to join the front part and i'm also going to join the back part of the dress i'm done joining the front part of the dress and i also joined the back part of the dress so i also use a bias to turn up the neckline of the dress then i also weave the other parts that i sewed later then i'm going to take the front part of the dress and place it on the back part of the dress and place it on the front part of the dress then i'll use half and one to join it at the shoulder parts I will mark the half and one and then join it. The reason why I'm doing this is that the shoulder is not straight. So to create that shoulder slant, I'm going to use half and one. I'm done joining the shoulder. So this is the sleeve I cut. So if you don't know how to draft a sleeve, I have a video. I'm also going to drop the uh, the link at my description box um then i'll attach the sleeve to the dress i'm done joining the dress the shoulder and i've also attached the sleeve to the dress The next step is to shape the dress, but I added one inch zipper allowance. So I'm just going to mark that one inch zipper allowance and pin it out before shaping. 
hi and welcome back to my channel is maki's closet if you find this video interesting please support my channel by hitting on the subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always watching my video and thank you for subscribing to my channel so what i'll do next in is to pin the sides after pinning the side i'm going to insert my vertical measurements and insert my bust circumference my under bust circumference and shape it to the sleeve then i'm going to remove all the pins and then turn it to the right for side. this sleeve i have a video on how to draft a basic sleeve so you can also watch the video and done shaping the dress and i also shaped the hand and attached the hand finally so the next step i'm going to take after doing this is to insert the peplum i cut earlier so before inserting the peplum you can fold the mouth of your peplum or you can turn it up by a bias which i have already done so what i'll just do is to insert it insert the peplum at sorry attach the peplum to the upper part of the dress then notch the middle of the peplum and middle of the blouse and place the notch part meeting each other then you pin it and sew after attaching the peplum this is our final look so the next is to attach a zip so with this we have come to the end of the tutorial please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to turn up the notification button to get new updates from my channel and drop your comments at the comment section